All right, folks, as you can see, the front wheel is back on my old beater go-to-work car. By the way, this is 2005 Buick LeSabre 3.8, and I got it for $800. Uh, it's like twice the gas miles of my car. It's ugly as crap, grandma car. But you know what? 800 bucks, twice the gas mileage of my truck. I'm happy with that. My go-to-work car. Everything's back together. Um, I was talking about the possibility of the aftermarket um, harmonic balancer, and I think that's going to be the case. I think that's what it was because it worked fine. Uh, took my 24 millimeter. I lined up the keyway. That's important. Make sure your keyway is lined up when you put it back on and hand tighten your bolt down snug and then hit it with your 24 mil and your impact tightens it right back up uh, tighten until it won't go any further so you're within the sensor range on the crankshaft sensor and uh, now the issue here i cranked it up and it works just fine but the issue here is that i still have a miss let's see i still have a check engine light once that clears and it's still running rough. So I mean, it could be something as simple as a coil pack or a foul plug. Um, I thought the uh, the mist would go away when I replaced the crankshaft sensor because I thought it would throw my timing off, but it didn't. Anyway, either way, I can get home. So uh, I hope you picked up some tips from this. Turn this thing off. I hope you learned something, saw something you could use. Uh, I will put the link for the quick way to get that bolt loose uh, down below when I post the video. And if you've got any issues or questions with 3.8, so wait, here's something I want to address. Okay, look at this. That is an aftermarket remanufactured alternator. That is complete and utter junk, and it's going away. If your alternator goes bad on any car, always, always, if the opportunity presents itself, get a used OEM, that's original equipment manufacturer, uh, unit to put on your vehicle instead of going to AutoZone, O'Reilly's, um, Advance, and getting a remanufactured unit. Because there's a number of different companies that remanufacture them, but they all use the same Chinese-made throwaway junk as their rectifiers and their bushings and bearings, <coughs> and they will not last. The OEM used is going to last you three or four times the length. And it doesn't matter if it's got a lifetime warranty. If you're broken down in Walmart parking lot and can't get home or can't go pick up your kids, none of that lifetime warranty isn't going to matter a bit. What's going to matter is whether the thing cranks or not. So given the opportunity, always buy used OEM alternators and starters. Go to a salvage yard, give them your business. You'll pay half the money and you'll get a better product. Even though it's already got mileage on it, doesn't matter. It was built right the first time as opposed to this other stuff that is just not. Trust me from experience. Just go with used OEM whenever you possibly can. All right, folks. Uh, this is my, hopefully, this is my 3.8 liter uh, ending, uh, except for that joker right there. As soon as I get an OEM, that thing's going away. All right, folks. Have a good night. And uh, please like and subscribe if you saw something you could use. Have a good day.